वन मोर फॉर्मूला सेवन कैपिटल गेयरिंग रेशियो दिस इज क्वाइट मोर प्रैक्टिकल देन डेट इक्विटी रेशियो वाई आई विल टेल यू बट नॉट नाउ आई विल नॉट टेल एवरी थिंग राइट नाउ बिकॉज थिंग्स कम लाइक वट वी से फ्यू थिंग्स दैट कम आफ्टर समाइम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल मी टू एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड गेयरिंग टू यू राइट नाउ बिकॉज अनलेस वी मूव ऑन एंड स्टडी फर्दर चैप्टर्स दैट आर कम दैट आर गोइंग टू कम अनलेस दैन आई कैन टेल यू वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गेयरिंग सो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द फॉर्मूला राइट नाउ फॉर टाइम बिंग डेट्स प्लस प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल डिवाइडेड बाय ओनर्स फंड माइनस प्रेफरेंस शेयर ओके सो हाउ टू डील विद दिस ओनर्स फंड मीन्स दिस वन कंप्लीट वन एक्सेप्ट द बोरोइंग सॉरी बोरोड फंड दिस एंटायर वन एक्सेप्ट दिस वन यू जस्ट हैव टू सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस ओके सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस प्रेफरेंस शेयर फ्रॉम दिस ओके आई होप दिस इज क्वाइट क्लियर टू यूर सो आई राइट एट ओ यो यू प्लीज इन द एग्जाम ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन दिस मैनर इवन इफ द प्रैक्टिस मैन्यूअल इज शोइंग सम अदर प्रेजेंटेशन बिकॉज इट शोज द एग्जामिनर हु इज गोइंग टू चेक योर पेपर दैट यू हैव अ गुड ग्रिप ऑफ नॉलेज ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलर सब्जेक्ट ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक ओके दिस रेशियो इज मोर practical then debt equity ratio this ratio shows how geared our capital is due to preference and debts preference and debts are the gearing factors okay as i told i'll break that expectation of the balance sheet so here it is for for the formulas the balance sheets are very important the balance sheet is very important you have to understand the balance sheet first but from the exam point of view there is hardly in the last i can say four attempts more than four attempts they are not asking this balance sheet or they don't want the students to solve their answer in this format they expect the students to fall uh, to solve in t format okay so my humble request is please do not show off your knowledge in exam please draw T balance that is T format, a regular format of balance sheet. When the question is in the normal format of balance sheet, please do not show this format. It it won't cut your marks. Hundred percent sure it won't cut your marks. It will definitely impress the examiner, but it will consume time. For eight marks, if you are going to draw this big balance sheet, then it is absolute time waste. And even if you want to impress, then you have to practice this balance sheet. That means you have to practice. the sums at least 10 times so that you have the pace of writing making the columns okay so it's all up to you but my advice is draw t format unless the question is of 12 marks okay so the expectation is good from the balance sheet that it will help you in the real life if you are trading you can just take a balance sheet and just insert the figures over here and then apply the formulas and see how good it is but the formulas are not yet complete when our ratio analysis is completed then you can analyze the balance sheet or our complete financial management is completed then you can try okay ha so firstly please pause the video and copy this much Hope this is clear. Uh, I just want you all to know 
the formulas will be many a times confusing because see here there is no percentage this is ratio so here there is no into 100 here also no into 100 and same for the entire page but as you come to stock to working capital there is into 100 so you have to recite this at least thrice and at least write twice so that you can memorize this properly because these are all our formulas okay they have good implications but you have to remember the formulas for that see property ratio into 100 debt equity ratio is a ratio it is not into 100 there is no percentage for this capital gearing ratio is also not a percentage there is no into 100 but now the formulas that we are going to study they are all all formulas that is uh, sorry they are all into 100 that is we have to calculate the percentage so i request if any page is uh, any space is remaining like this then keep it like that only because we have to come back for this capital gearing thing okay so now all easy formulas are going to start now all easy formulas are going to start one gross profit that is gp ratio simple formula gross profit upon net sales into 100 net sales means sales minus sales return i hope you all know this this ratio shows manufacturing efficiency of the company i'll tell you why manufacturing efficiency why specifically i've written manufacturing efficiency because gp is calculated in trading account and i hope you all are well aware of this trading account is concerned with manufacturing i'll write like this trading account con con concern with manufacturing so it tells you how efficient the company's manufacturing is so i hope this is becoming interesting more and more as as and when the new formulas are coming okay i hope you all are also enjoying this because many many classes or many students i have seen they just memorize the formula they don't know the crux what is the importance of this formula okay so when you come to know the importance you are enjoying the subject i hope you all are understanding and connecting with me what i am trying to say okay second cogs i am damn sure many of you all does not remember the formula of cogs if you all remember that's very good if you are a CPT student, if you are CPT passed out, then COGS is must. You should know COGS. COGS ratio. COGS stands for cost of goods sold. If you all don't know, make a bracket and write. COGS upon net sales in 200. With the help of this, what we get? With the help of this, we again get the manufacturing efficiency. I will give you one more thing. COGS ratio can be calculated like this also 1 minus GP ratio GP ratio means this ratio okay write the same explanation here I am not writing it again but if you want you can write it and most important thing before I forgot before I, get, before I forget COGS stands for opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses less closing stock many of y'all might be saying uh, I know this but I forget I, I forgot this at the time being so please pause the video and copy this much Third, net operating 
or else we'll go with net profit ratio which is equal to n n pet okay this is quite weird for the first time n pet what does n pet stands for i'll tell you n pet firstly stands for net profit after tax what this uh, what this ratio shows you this ratio shows overall profitability of a company okay so this is very simple fourth net operating profit ratio it is ebit upon net sales into 100 what does ebit stands for ebit stands for earnings before interest and tax okay i have a format where npt and ebit are covered so please don't panic this is the initial stage of learning the formulas i'll consolidate everything and suddenly you all be able to solve the sums okay so just don't worry this ratio helps to know the profitability of the company okay only the profit will not overall profitability of the company so please pause the video and copy this two formulas i hope you all have done